Heavy snowfall has come to our town. As if someone booked it, so the Christmas season looks more festive and magical. In fact, it hasn't snowed so much here in December since the 1980s, so that's quite impressive. The snow found its way into all the hidden corners and squares, onto all the Christmas ornaments and decorations. Snowflakes are constantly falling from the sky and it seems like it's not going to stop anytime soon. It feels like we got transferred into a fairy tale and we wanted to show you how pretty it all looks. The streets are covered with sparkling white snow and everything is a bit slower and more peaceful. And not just because of these slow motion shots. There are Christmas lights everywhere and everything is more shiny and glittery than usual. Even trams. And we love it, of course. In the season before Christmas our town is usually filled with people, but this year there are less of them because all the Christmas markets in our country have been cancelled due to Covid. There are just a few stalls that are allowed to be open, mainly with homemade decorations and little things like that. And here we are by the Christmas tree. It's so pretty and it's snowing really strong. It's so magical in this weather. <laughs> yeah, but it's hard to film because the snowflakes are falling onto the screen, onto the camera. Onto the eyebrows. Yeah, and in Tommy's beard and everywhere, <laughs> so it's not easy, but nothing can stop us. It's a boy. <laughs> we are waiting for the Christmas tram to arrive. It should be here in two minutes, I think. <laughs> no, now. But it's not here. Where is it? <laughs> so we are waiting. Honey, there is it. But this is not the main one. This one it's not as pretty as the previous one. And now the correct one is here. Look. A few days later, we had to go to our country house, just for one night to check on our heating. The snow was slowly melting away, Tommy had to work, and in the meantime, I found myself an interesting project. trying to create a snowman. I saw this decoration with the shape of a snowman in a flower shop and I got inspired. So I'm attempting to recreate that because it was very pretty and I really liked it. And it didn't seem complicated.
is finished. Wow, it's so beautiful. I love it. <laughs> the scarf should be more Christmassy. It would be better. But it looks like I was successful. You are so talented. Yeah. Wow. But it's so frustrating because it's barely holding together <laughs> with the nails. And it fell down and broke into pieces. So now I somehow put it together. <laughs> it looks pretty, but it's not very stable. <laughs> I think it's great. It looks amazing. I would never be able to do something like this. Yeah, just with the tools I found here at the country house. The locks I found here. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of you too. And we didn't have to buy anything. <laughs> That's the main thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the city, it was high time to decorate our condo. There was a lot of decorating in front of us. And by a lot, I mean really a lot. Untangling the Christmas lights took quite a lot of time and it didn't help that they were glowing so beautifully in the dark that we had to play with them at least for a bit. Gay guys at their best, seeing all the colors of the rainbow. Over the years we accumulated a lot of various things, either from the internet or from family and friends. And we don't throw anything out, so it's a bit of a mess, but we like it this way. These ornaments are from Tommy's mom. She knitted them herself. Sometimes you have to be a bit of an acrobat. And sometimes you have to invent special methods to keep all those sparkly things where you want them to, because they don't want to stick for some reason. Just a bit more of untangling and it looks like we are done. And everything is decorated, yay! Actually it's not, oh, because every year we add something new to our collection. So I'll be right back. <gasps> oh my god, what's happening? Tommy is the best at surprises. <laughs> So let's see what happens now. Honey, oh my god, what's this? Because your head grew a lot this year, so I bought you a bigger head. <laughs> Let me try it. Aha, you look much better now. Wow, you look so sexy. It's not for your head, but it's for our chairs because it wouldn't be Christmas without Christmas chair covers. Okay. For those. Uh huh. Okay. So we'll put it on later <laughs> because now we can't move the camera. So you'll see everything in just a moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But almost everything is done. <laughs> it took us all evening, as always. As always, it was. Four hours or more. Yeah. I'm always like, okay, this is going to take 10 minutes <laughs> or maybe half an hour. Yeah. But no, it's so... It takes a lot of time. <laughs> it does. But it was worth it. I love all the lights, especially. It's yeah. my favorite part. <laughs> the lights are magical. But this year, the cherry on top is our snowman. Yes, of course. The snowman is highlight of this year's Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. It makes the, this little corner so much prettier. Job well done, honey. So now that everything is decorated, we can finally start the Christmas season. Yay. The Christmas season is totally here. We'll start watching Christmas movies and eat a lot of sweets. Mm -hmm. 
but not Christmas cookies yet because that's just at Christmas, yeah. directly at Christmas. That's forbidden before. Yeah, that's forbidden. So just Christmas punch and eggnog and other alcohol. <laughs> okay, so let's decorate our chairs. Done. <laughs> that was much easier than the lights. I want to do the second one. Okay. Ta-da! Wow! <laughs> it's working! <laughs> it's a Christmas miracle! And here we are in the kitchen again. We are going to create punch balls. Ooh. It should be a little bit Christmassy. It's really not, but <laughs> it's my very favorite type of dessert and I found recipes on the internet and it should be easily done so I'm going to attempt to do that so it's a no-bake cookie can you see me? <laughs> <laughs> no, do it again <laughs> it's so festive, right? so here we have all the ingredients I prepared everything in advance wow. but I have to weigh it and measure it but this is everything we need Peter Hopefully. is such a planner <laughs> I am look at my fancy paper your spreadsheet <laughs> my spreadsheet uh -huh. I have notes here what we need and how much of everything okay I am babbling again so guys I don't know if you have this in your country Biscotti Clever yeah. I don't know if you have clever in your country <laughs> We do You are clever So it's called Biscotti And it looks like this Small Sweet thingies It's sweet and There are just a few ingredients there Like basic flour and eggs and sugar I don't know It's very common here so, we are going to use that. And you must be wondering what I'm going to do now. Now we are wondering why you are in your pajamas. <laughs> Guys, all my sweatpants are at the country house. So, I only have one here in the city and there is a very, very, very big hole on my knee. So Tommy found this in our closet and it looks nice, <laughs> it's comfy. Okay, back to the recipe. So we are going to create a powder out of this. So let's go. Ta -da! It's not totally fine, but I think it's okay. I think it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> let's put it here. Now we need sugar, 100 grams, walnuts, <laughs> I have to grind them because they have to be powdered as well. Thirty grams of cocoa powder, we need 100 grams of butter. Okay, 106. In some recipes there was much more butter, but I don't know, I'm gonna use this amount. We can adjust everything because we are not going to bake it and we can taste it along the way, so it's easy. It has to be tasty and that's the main goal, so I'm not afraid with this recipe. Nothing can go wrong. Mm -hmm. No way. Now we need orange juice. So I'm gonna squeeze it because fresh one is the best. No sugar or anything. And this should add a very nice flavor. And the pulp is going to be a very nice lunch for Tommy because he loves it. I don't like it at all. <laughs> so honey, you can have something to look forward to. 
That's the healthiest part of the orange. I will measure it just for fun, but I will add this amount anyway. It doesn't matter how much it is. Okay, almost 100 milliliters. <laughs> That's nice. In the recipe it was 30. Good thing that nothing could possibly go wrong, so let's put it all in. Exactly. <laughs> Guys, cooking is so much fun, right? Tommy said he hates being in the kitchen. Like, this is his least favorite room in every house or every apartment. Yes. Okay, let's continue. This is a very special Czech rum very cheap <laughs> and this one should have an almond flavor so that's interesting it's christmas mm -hmm. of course so in some recipes there was only 50 milliliters but i think we need more at least 100 if it's too liquidy that's one thing that could go wrong we no, have, we said nothing could go wrong. We had a bit of extra of these cookies, so that would save us, I think. Sure. Okay. And that should be it. However... Now we need to mix it together and create a nice consistency. So, wish me luck. Let's go. I, I don't know how to start. I don't want to touch it. I'm so stupid. Maybe <laughs> I should have put it here in the big blender, but I don't know now. But you can still do it, right? Or... But should I? I think it looks how it should look. Let me taste it now. You keep tasting. Yes. That's what cooking is about, right? Exactly. <laughs> so good. <laughs> I can taste the rum. But and that's what it matters. I don't feel much of orange. Oh my god, this is like when you have a cake and there is the filling. Mm -hmm. So this is just the filling and I would eat it all just now. Yum. <laughs> Peter always says that he would only like to have the filling and no pastry. Yes. Oh my god. I can't stop. <laughs> so there will be no balls after all. This is it. <laughs> Why is it so addictive? I'm going to be so fat, guys, after this Christmas. We should weigh ourselves before and after Christmas. No. <laughs> Tommy works out every day. And I don't. Because... I don't every day. Almost every day. No. And I'm so lazy. So bad. Guys, are you lazy too? <laughs> Tell me your secrets and give me some advice. How not to be lazy if you are not lazy. You know how to do it. Okay. So it's... Great. We need grated coconut or shredded or how you call it, I don't know, but coconut. And now we are going to create balls. Okay. Yeah. It's going in and it's not very messy. So now you just do this, of course, and the ball is done. Do you want to taste it, honey? I always want to taste your balls. <laughs> because I can adjust the flavor if it's not up to your taste. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's very delicious. Okay, so no adjusting. Wow, so sweet. <laughs> yeah, it is quite sweet. We are not used to regular sugar. Mm -hmm. And one for me, <laughs> of course. Mm. I know, right? I can't even. <laughs> so good. Yeah. <laughs> so unhealthy. Of course, but that's what Christmas is about. 
We will go for a run or something. This is why we eat healthy all year long, so that we could eat this for Christmas. <laughs> yes. Ah, looks like we are finished here. Yeah, last one. So, I love it. This was quick and easy and here we are. Ta -da! Not that many of them as you predicted. No, but we wouldn't be able to, to eat them because they are too sweet and too delicious. So, you can just have a tiny amount. Yeah, one per day is enough, I think. <laughs> yeah. So, these are very unhealthy and not good for you. Bon appetit! <laughs> and we will put it into the fridge so the consistency gets better, so it's not that soft. Mm -hmm. Peter's balls are best served cold. <laughs> okay, so that was quite fun. And in the meantime, both of our vacation have started, so we can now fully enjoy the holiday season. Yippee! Twin.